about three years ago, I started noticing the gasoline prices were going up. And I'd seen that they'd been going up for a while. And so I started doing research on the internet. And there's this idea that at some point in the future, global oil production will reach a maximum amount all around the world when you add it all up. And then it'll start to decline. And when that decline begins, the prices will begin to go up. And so I've been paying attention to this issue. And I've been watching global oil production. And global oil production has gone up to about 85 million barrels a day. But that was three years ago, and it hasn't raised since then. Of course, we have a lot more people in the world now, 77 million more people each year. So there's a lot more demand for the same amount of oil. And that's the number one factor that's driving up gasoline prices right now. And it probably will continue for a very long time. And this is such an urgent issue because there are people living very close to uh, the line where they need to be able to know what the prices are going to be in the future for gasoline and oil. And so right. we decided to host a conference to help people understand what is peak oil, how does it affect gasoline prices, food prices, and the way people are going to be living in the future. So I brought a few things for the conference. The conference is called the International Conference on Peak Oil and Climate Change, Paths to Sustainability. And this conference will be here in Grand Rapids at the end of May, May 30, at Calvin College at their Fine Arts Center. Mm -hmm. And the Peak Oil Conference is going to be bringing in people from all over the country. Back in January, a reporter from the Wall Street Journal came to Michigan to interview me about gasoline prices and why they're going up and what I was doing personally in my own life about that. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I've been able to attract a number of internationally known speakers to come to the conference. The speakers that I'm bringing in, um, Richard Heinberg has written four books about gasoline prices and what's going to happen in the future with peak oil and how that's going to impact gasoline and food prices. Good. Julian Darley, who has written about natural gas prices and what's going to happen with that in the future. A doctor named um, Dr. David Goodstein, who is a professor at California Institute of Technology. He's a physicist, and he's written a book about um, called Out of Gas, The End of the Age of Oil. And then I have several other speakers, including Megan Quinn Bachman, Pat Murphy, and Stephanie Mills of I'm Michigan, uh -huh. who are all going to come and talk about this peak oil issue, how it's going to impact people with gasoline prices going up, food prices going up, and even mortgage prices, and how it's going to be difficult to make ends meet as we head into the future, and then what people can do about it. In order to get more support for this conference, I went down and had a meeting with the local representative, Vernon Ehlers. And he happens to be one of the three scientists in the House of Representatives okay. with a PhD. Mm -hmm. All three of those scientists are a member of a group called the Peak Oil Caucus. In other words, they all understand this issue, and they know that gasoline prices are going to be going up, and this is an urgent issue we're going to have to address. And so I have a short clip, and it shows an invitation from Representative Ehlers for everyone to come to this conference to learn about what's happening. I'm pleased to invite you to come to Grand Rapids for this marvelous conference that is being held. It's a good place to learn about peak oil, energy conservation, energy efficiency, global warming. Get it all in one spot in one of the most beautiful parts of this world and this country. And be sure to visit the lakes while you're here, too. Thank you very much, and I hope you do come. Not only do we have these six presenters coming in to talk about gasoline prices and food prices and what people can do about it, but 40 other people have decided to come and talk about particular things that people can do to adjust to this huge change that we're starting to enter into and that really started about three years ago, but which is going to continue uh, straight into the future. <laughs> 